Hi guys, Richie Bob here. Back with another candy taste test today. This is a bit of an unboxing and a taste test video. I have the Tokyo Treat box that's very kindly been sent to me by Tokyo Treats. Thank you so much to them. Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription box for Japanese candy and the subscription prices start from $14.99 as far as I'm aware. I'll put a link in the description to the site so you can check out which services are available and there's also some coupon codes down there too. I have had a small peek in but I haven't tried anything so that's what I'm going to do in this video. The box is awesome by the way, I love how kitsch and eclectic it is. So the first thing you get is this guide, Tokyo Treat Volume 11 November 2016 and it gives you a little bit of a insight into what's been going on, uh, it tells you a bit about Japan, it's got a little story there, competition, a little DIY thing, things that you can win by being a subscriber and I think these might be the items in the box that it's telling us about and I think we were supposed to start at this side. So let's go through what's in the box. This is what it looks like inside, jam packed. There's also a can in there. I'm going to be really brave guys. So the first thing is this, I can't really see what they are, Let's see if I can find it in the magazine, which is this way up. Oh, chocolate pie bar. Enjoy this bar shaped chocolate pie that is filled with rich but non-melting chocolate. The combination of the light and airy crust with the chocolate makes for a perfect mid-afternoon snack. Oh, it's two o'clock, that's good. That you can enjoy with your favourite cup of joe or tea. Fabulous. Uh, okay. Let's see what these look like. They're so cute. Oh my god, they're like little puff balls. Look at that. It smells nice. Mmm. Oh. It's like an inside out chocolate eclair without the cream. Look at that. That's actually really nice. Oh, I said nice. I always say nice. That is tasty. Next item is oh god, Calbi seaweed and salt chips. Because this month's theme is iconic Japanese snacks, we just had to feature these classic flavored chips. Long beloved by all generations, these light but savoury chips will probably also make a fan of you once you try them. Calbi uses red pepper and sesame oil as their secret ingredient to perfect the flavour for their super addictive seaweed and salt chips. <sighs> it smells like Brid Beach on a really stormy day. They just look like normal crisps. get a Quite a small one, just um, speckly. I guess that's the seaweed. They're all right. They actually taste like Walkers ready salted. Not bad. They don't taste like seaweed. They just taste like ready salted crisps. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in this box. Next one is, thank goodness for this guide. Caramel Corn Apple Pie Flavour Tahata Caramel Corn Franchise has a long and trusted reputation for serving quality sweet corn puffs. This light but satisfying snack has a strong following with our subscribers too. Caramel Corn comes in many different flavours but this month we decided to pack your box with the autumn limited edition flavour of apple pie. Apple pie. Caramel Corn. Looks like a what's it? Texture of a what's it? Tastes like apples, syrupy apples. That's quite strange combination. Wow. I mean, the the nights, but it tastes like sweets, but the texture is savoury. Next is this just says bake. Bake limited edition sweet potato flavour, very popular chocolate snack. Bake is back 
with a new limited edition flavour just in time for the colder seasons. These mouth-watering sweet potato flavoured chocolate snacks provide both satiating, satiating, it's not a word I'm familiar with, two-in-one texture and a rich sweet potato flavour that is sure to please even the pickiest snacker. I'm the ultimate test of that I should think. That's the packet. I don't know what these will be laid out like. Oh, oh they're just tiny little rolls, I guess. And, okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> are a bit biscuity. That's what it looks like. Um, not chocolatey. What did it say it was? Sweet potato flavour. So it's a sweet potato flavoured chocolate snack. So that was chocolate. I kind of feel like it was. You can taste like a aftertaste of chocolate. Texture of biscuit and sweet potato. Strange combination again. This is the Kinaka snack stick. A semi soft chewy candy that is covered with an ample amount of roasted soybean flour. An iconic snack in Japan. This traditional snack has been loved by many generations. The chewy texture with the subtle sweetness is enough to get you hooked, but the roast soybean flour gives it a nutty dimension that gives it a unique touch. So it's soybean flour, chewy and sweet. doesn't really say what it is. So it's just a stick, a chewy stick I guess. Uh, looks like that. Smells like burnt twigs. Really flowery. Not the nicest. Tastes like really soft twigs. <laughs> this is Shiga Kicks or Shy Kicks Mikan Gummy. Enjoy the juicy flavours of Unshu Mikan with the semi hard gummy. These gummy come in fun puzzle shapes. Collect them all to make a complete picture of a Sugar Kicks character. I don't know what one of those is. Uh, these are just shapes like that. Uh, can you see? Yeah, and I presume they're orange. Oh! Um. still going. I had to spit it out. It's the sourest orange I've ever tasted. Ever. It was like I've been stabbed in my mouth repeatedly. I should have just left it at the chocolate puffs. They were lovely. Oh. Oh. Next. Next is Remint Amu Asubi Kororin Mascot. This is a special item apparently. Cute box. I mean all the boxes are really cute. A popular lunch dish. A musubi is another name for a Japanese rice ball. Usually served in a triangular shape. It comes with different fillings 
and is wrapped in seaweed of course. This surprise blind box each come with a popular umsubi you can put on a keychain and a piece of gum. Oh, gum. So this is like a toy with a treat. So you get a little leaflet telling you in Japanese about the little toy. That's your key ring. See there? It's beautiful. <laughs> With the keychain. And this is my piece of gum. The sun's really bad right now. There's a piece of gum. Delightful. And now I've got my sushi keychain I always wanted. So the gum. See what the gum's like. Looks like a tutti frutti. Tastes like apple. Actually, tastes like a tutti frutti. Very nice, but it is gum, so don't swallow it. Next item looks like a sausage roll from Greg's. Chocolate pie bar. Wait, I already did that. Oh, so the other things weren't chocolate, that wasn't a chocolate pie bar. The one before was a, a light and airy textured famous snack in different shapes, bite sized cream puff balls filled with chocolate cream. That was before. This is the pie bar that I already read the description of. I don't know how I got that wrong, so obviously not that thing. <laughs> so this is chocolate in pastry. The chocolate that they use seems really nice. So this is part of it. Does look like a sausage roll, come on. Is it is a chocolate sausage roll? Chocolate roll? Chocolate sausage. Hmm. If you went and got a sausage roll, but you said can I have chocolate instead of sausage? That is what you get. Well, next is this, um, Whistle Ramoon, featured in the popular Dogashi Kashi manga, these fun Ramoon candies double as a whistle and has been loved by kids in Japan since the 70s, with the addition of a mini toy with each package, it's no wonder why the Whistle Ramoon continues to maintain its popularity. So, I don't, don't really understand what to do. Shows some birds on the back of the packet, whistling, of course, and, oh. <laughs> Sounds like this, I wonder what I'm doing with my life. Oh, it's quite nice. It's like a candy sherbet-y type flavour. If <laughs> you swallowed it and then you breathe, would it whistle? <laughs> and then I've got this lovely lapel pin um, to put on my lapel, of course. <laughs> Baked sweet potato yokan. I had no idea sweet potato was so popular in Japan. Yokan is a Japanese sweet that is usually made with sweet red bean paste and has a thick jelly consistency. This month we've included a decadent baked sweet potato flavoured yokan that is sure to please all fans of Japanese snacks. Chill it, enjoy it with a hot cup of green tea for a truly Japanese snacking experience. Okay, this is uh, straight out of the box for me. If I can get into it. Oh, I'm gonna need the cigars. This looks like a uh, Laffy Taffy or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's not looking super great, <laughs> but. The consistency is grim. It's got a consistency of animal fat. So it's like a sweet potato. Next is this item. This is Chorus Fruit and Vegetable Shop Chewing Candy. 
This is a DIY candy. Oh, and this is actually the premium box that I've got then because you can see in here it lays it out by which box has which. So I've got them all because I've got the premium box. But if I'd have just got the small box, I would have just got the things on this line. And the regular box would have got me that line and this line. So there we go. This one is a DIY candy. Just put the colourful soft candies in the mould following the examples on the package. And you've got tasty, cute, fresh ship chewing candies. Mix the yellow and pink candy to make orange coloured candy. This is like similar to the one that I did on my Japanese candy taste test. I had to kind of mix everything. I guess they like to do that in Japan. So those are our candy colours, I guess. And this is my mould and this is my vegetable shop because I'm 12 now and so I fold this I think you fold that like that and then you put you make your fruit and veg and stick it on there I will do what it says and just mix the pink and the yellow mix them together Remember, make sure you'd washed your hands before you eat this. That's not orange. That's the colour it's come out at. It's almost the same colour as my hands. I'm just going to pop it into the flower one. Push that on there. And then you've got your flower shaped candy. For argument's sake, we can take the edges off. And then you can place it on your, well, flower broccoli, I don't know what it is, but you can place it on your little fruit and veg doll. Quite cute for small people. And it tastes just like really sweet, sugary paste. Next is this, it looks like a cigarette box. Mor Morinaga Milk Caramel. First introduced in 1913, this Morinaga Milk Caramel is probably one of the most iconic Japanese snacks around. One bite of this rich and creamy caramel goodness will make you understand why it continues to be one of the best selling snacks in Japan. So this is our packet of caramel Morinaga thing and they're like little oxo cubes within this packet then if we open it up looks like a chewy piece of caramel looks delightful but i'm not gonna risk it i'm just gonna take a small bite it's really hard mm. it's just like fudge that is delightfully edible about four more items to go we've got this super cute package thing. This is Gen Genji Pie, a popular pie, s pie snack since 1965. Genji Pie is made with carefully selected materials and then baked into perfection to give it a delicious homemade taste. The combination of its light and crispy texture with its subtle sweetness and cute heart shape makes it a popular snack with all generations. You actually get two in the packet. Oh, one of them is broken. <laughs> no. So this is what they look like. Very sweet. Smells like a really sugar coated bit of pastry. That's exactly what it tastes like. Quite hard, a lot of sugar, and not too bad. Very condensed, compact pastry. Almost like a puff pastry, I think. Like, I like. Next is this. This doesn't look good. Mayo Tara. Mayo Tara is a traditional Japanese dagashi snack that packs a lot of flavour although it does not look it. Individually sized, 
This dried Tara fish snack has a chewy texture, like that of beef jerky. The more you chew, the more intense the flavour. Add the mayonnaise that is included as a topping for the best flavour. Oh dear god, pray for Rochi Bop. This is the dried fish, looks like a Revita. And this is the mayonnaise. I can smell the fish quite a lot. I'm just going to open my mayonnaise. I'm going to pour my mayonnaise onto my fish. Dried fish. For the best flavour. And I'm going to eat the fish. Mayonnaise is really strong and the fish thing kind of cancelled out by the mayonnaise very chewy not nice to eat it's just wrong on so many levels now I've got some pokey which is kind of like Mikado I guess that's where Mikado came from pokey soft milk flavour pokey is uh, pokey pokey I don't know it's a classic Japanese chocolate and stick biscuit snack that comes in a range of flavours this soft milk pocky pocky prides itself on the fact that there is no artificial colouring or odour used. Enjoy the soft but rich flavour of milk with this special edition of pocky pocky. Smells of nothing. It really does taste of milk. Maybe a milk chocolate. Or maybe that's just my mind. Nice. Anything's better than the dried fish thing. And the last item is this can of nectar fujia nectar peach juice. A long time favourite in Japan. It's been around since 1964. Using the puree from real peach, this intensely flavour flavorful but refreshing juice is surely will surely be one of Tokyo's treats most popular drink don't forget to refrigerate it for maximum flavor it is cold it's a very nice sturdy can I must say it smells like peach a very nice fresh peach smell not fizzy it is just peach juice and it is nice I like it I do and look at that boom. And that's it for the Tokyo Treat Taste Test Unboxing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments guys if you have any questions about Tokyo Treat. Let me know and I'll try my best to answer those for you if you do get the box. Let me know, let me know what you get and let me know what your favourite and least favourite thing is. Also coupon codes on the bottom as well. Don't forget to use them if you're going to subscribe because you want to save some money. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Rachibop. There's a link somewhere on this page that you have visited me on. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye and cheers!